Welcome back. This is the first video in a series of videos all around managing Mac OS using Microsoft Endpoint Manager, also known as Microsoft Intune. So in this first video, I'm gonna show you how to get the environment set up for Mac OS and then actually enroll a Mac device. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna click on devices here at Microsoft Endpoint Manager's admin portal at endpoint.microsoft.com. And I'm gonna choose Mac OS and choose Mac OS enrollment. And we're gonna go through the wizard here. So we're gonna click on Apple MD and push certificate and we're gonna set up a certificate. So I'm gonna download my cert certificate signing request and then we're gonna create an MDM push certificate, which is gonna take me out to Apple's portal. Now I have to log in with an Apple ID. Here's a tip, make sure you know the Apple ID you're using for this. And the second tip is these certs expire after a year. So make sure you have a reminder set to come back in here and generate a new certificate. So we're gonna go ahead and click on create a certificate and I'm gonna upload that certificate signing request. And then once it's uploaded, I'm gonna click download and download the new certificate. And then we're gonna go back to Endpoint Manager here and we're gonna type in our Apple ID and we're gonna upload that push certificate that we just downloaded from Apple's portal. Now, once we do that, we should be in business. And here's my Apple ID. Here's the last time it was updated when it expires. Make sure you set a reminder, otherwise you will have a bad day. Now, I'm not gonna talk about bulk enrollment methods, and I'm really, really sorry for this, folks. I don't have a way right now to do Apple Configurator or Apple's device enrollment program or Apple Business Manager because I, I don't have like a formal purchase order or anything like that. Now, if any of you watching, if you have the means of doing this and maybe you wanna partner up and do some videos together on this, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I would love to take you up on that. Uh, but once we get the MDM push certificate ready and done, we're ready to now start proceeding. So before I go any further though, we need to talk about devices and device enrollment. This is really important. So over on the left side, I'm gonna click on uh, devices and I'm gonna click on enroll devices and I'm gonna choose enrollment restrictions. And this is where I can set up device type restrictions and device limit restrictions. So this is where I can come in and I can say, well, I can say we wanna block or allow Mac OS along with other devices and, or I can say allow Mac OS but block personally owned, which means an end user cannot install the company portal app and enroll their device. It has to be enrolled through Apple's device enrollment program or, or Apple Configurator or Apple Business Manager. So that, that may be part of your requirements for this. So make sure you understand that. The other thing I wanna talk about here is device limit restrictions. This is how many devices an end user can enroll into Endpoint Manager. So uh, 15, hey, that's a lot. Maybe you might wanna do three, whatever floats your boat there and meets your requirement, but just beware of that. And then the last thing is device enrollment manager allows you to delegate this permission to an end user or someone that they can use their credentials to enroll a Mac, um, but then it's not tied to their credentials. I'll do another video all about this later on. Okay, now that our Apple devices are ready to be enrolled, and this time we're talking about a Mac OS, let's switch over to my Mac and I'll show you how to enroll it. Okay, so we're on my Mac and let's pretend for a moment that this is an end user that they wanna bring in their personal Mac into the enterprise. So how do I enroll it so that it gets managed? Well, I'll put a link in the video description here around the documentation that walks you through how to do this. But there's basically a little website you go to here that will download a file. And that file is Company Portal. And if you've used Intune before, Endpoint Manager before, you know that Company Portal is how you enroll devices as an end user. Again, this is not if you're using a corporate issue device using Apple Business Manager or the device enrollment program. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Company Portal here and get it installed. And then once it gets installed, we're gonna go through the process of enrolling the Mac. And now that's installed, let's pull up Finder here and we're gonna to go to Applications and there's Company Portal. And we're gonna sign in. Now this can be my device enrollment manager that I talked about before, or this can be the actual end user who owns the device.
And as you can see, it's Azure Active Directory doing the authentication. And here we go, we're ready to rock and roll. So it's gonna walk me through this. Uh, so set up your device. All right, so I'm gonna click on begin. This is really important. Here's what my company can see and what they can't see. And this is really important because there's no way for you, an endpoint manager or Intune, to see personal things like what's listed here. Um, so just, you know, this is letting the end user know what's, what's visible. I'm gonna click on continue and it's gonna install a management profile. And so we're gonna download the management profile and then we're going to install it. Now you might have like a sheet of paper here you put on the end user's desk or you might email them instructions to do this. Um, could you script it out? Maybe if you really wanted to. But we're gonna install the profile here. This is pretty standard. This is not an Intune or Endpoint Manager thing. This is a, an Apple uh, SDK or API thing here. And then we're gonna come back here and um, once it sees that the profile is installed, it's gonna to proceed to the next step. All right, took a moment and now it says you're all set. So we are at this point enrolled. Now inside Company Portal, when I'm authenticated, I could see all the devices under my identity that have been enrolled. So here's my Mac. You can see I've got some Windows PCs here. These are basically my virtual machines. I've got an iPad, I've got some other things. And I can even see the, uh, a little bit of information here about the device that's enrolled. Uh, we'll talk more about compliance in another video because that's really important. If I go to apps, this is like a corporate app store that I can make available to the end users to see what kind of apps they can actually install. I'll do another video on that as well. So folks, it's that easy to enroll it into Endpoint Manager. Now let's go back to the admin view and I'll show you what it looks like now that it's enrolled. So back in Endpoint Manager, I went to Devices from the home screen and clicked on Mac OS Devices. And here I could see, I had to refresh, but here I could see all the Macs that are enrolled. Uh, so here you could see that Mac that we just enrolled. And as we click on it here, I could see things like the serial number, the ownership is personal. That's because we use Company Portal and the end user themselves logged into it and enrolled it. If I was using Apple Device Manager or you know uh, Business Manager or Device Enrollment Program, that would show up as corporate. Uh, operating system, I can see the compliance. Again, I'll do another video on that. And if I click on See More, I've got some other st stuff here I can do. Now, what's really cool about this is I can go through and do a number of different commands here. I can retire it, uh, which will remove company data managed by Intune. So think about apps that we push down, that kind of thing. Um, delete will actually delete it from the directory. I could do a remote lock. I could do a sync uh, and, a, and some other operations here as well. Again, I will show you in another video how to manage all of this. The point of this video was how do you enroll it? So folks, it's that easy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter or LinkedIn. And again, we're gonna have probably 20 or 30 more videos all about Mac OS using Endpoint Manager. So I'm gonna to try to post a new video every day. So make sure you hit subscribe to stay notified and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.